right, today we are working on brakes after a couple weeks away from the car. So before I get into it, I'll show you guys a couple things. This is the CV axle from Richard Good. Super nice. Um, not terribly difficult to install. There's a little bit better view of it, how it attaches. I did the Rick Patton uh, trailing arm kit back here to replace all these studs so they never stripped out again and used keen certs. Um, new shocks were replaced. There's the rest of the axle back there and then you can kind of see some of the differential back there. That's the Nissan R200. So. And then new connections on the uh, trailing arm there too. And a new spring. So here's what I've gotten done so far. It probably took me an hour and a half to get this line replaced, but I don't work particularly fast anyways. A um, couple suggestions if you do this. Loosen up this nut first so that it loosens it from the flexible brake line. If you, I tried to loosen up these nuts first, and then I was trying to hold this with a wrench and then twist this, and it wasn't working. It was actually twisting this whole line. Um, I was afraid I was going to break something, so I started looking for replacement lines, thinking that this thing was rusted on there completely. And then I decided to just tighten it up, put the 916's wrench back on there, twisted it, and it came off fairly easily. Um, there was a little bit of rust in there when I pulled it off, and I'll show that to you, but definitely reusable. Um, on the rear connection, I ended up going from under the car to get to it. It's way easier. If you have the dual exhaust in the later model cars, you're probably going to have to remove that to be able to get to it. But I was able to do this uh, with the single pipe with a couple of wrenches and it, it took some time, but I was able to do it. It's not an easy job. If you have the differential out already or the body off, you should definitely do this. I would not wait until you put the body back on. It's a pain in the butt. But anyways, I got these from uh, TS Imports in Ohio. So nice kit that should last for a while. Here's what the originals look like. So this was, that would have been the end towards a differential. It's fairly easy. It's all, it's beat up. And it's just, I just didn't trust these anymore. So I'm glad I've finally gotten around to doing this. And this is the end that went in right there. Um, like I said, they were working, but just didn't really trust it. Um, so I'm gonna go go ahead and start moving the pads and springs and all this hardware. I've got all new that. I got a new cylinder. This is actually the original Girling, which I was surprised. Um, I figured they'd been replaced, or this had been replaced at some point, but maybe not. Um, brake pads aren't looking very good. So I've got new brake pads, new everything. You can see they're not making contact. I don't, I'm not happy with the contact point, so we'll see if we can fix that too. Um, so let's get to work and I'll catch up with you. Okay, so here's something wrong I already noticed. So this notch should not be here. That's to fit over your parking brake cable right here. So whoever put this on a long, long time ago has it wrong. And then the spring is connected here on the second hole and here, sorry, on the first hole. So it's going at an angle like this. It doesn't make any sense. So these brakes are all jacked up. I'm glad I tore into this. I never noticed that when I did the axle, but We'll keep going and we'll get her fixed and get her done right. I checked the new parts and they, there's only one. I'm curious what the other side looks like. I haven't torn into it yet, but this should not be here. So anyways, we'll keep moving on. So here's a problem. I was pulling off the brake adjuster because I wanted to clean it up. And as I'm pulling one of the nuts off, it broke the stud. So I guess I got to order a new one of those. Just something to be aware of. This is a little more rusted than I anticipated, so. Well, I guess we won't get this job done today, but we'll at least get a new cylinder and everything put on there and go from there. Okay, got the right side put back together. Got new pads, new springs. 
a new cylinder and a new adjuster to fix the one that I broke. So I did them on both sides. Um, suggestion for putting these on, you can attach both of these springs to the pads while they're out and then fit one side on and then you can just stretch the other one over. There's, I don't know if there's any way to actually attach these springs while these are in here. I don't think, you, I don't think you'd be able to stretch them over there. Um, didn't take too much effort to do that. So just a thought. And when you put on the side opposite the parking brake, so this side, watch for this notch and make sure you're going with the hole just above it. If you go with the hole that's farther from it, basically if you flip this over, this won't line up and you won't figure it out until you get the whole thing back together. This is what holds uh, this clip, which goes on there and then holds these pads against there so that they can't do that. So just a suggestion. Um, I'm waiting on a copper washer from the Roaster Factory to finish up the stainless brake line on the other side. So make sure I get a good connection there and we should be done. So let me get this tightened up and then we'll get the new uh, new drum on. We're pretty much done on this side. Okay, so one more issue I ran into, trying to get this all back together. I thought I had it finished. I went to put the drums on and I could not get them on. It took me forever to figure out why. I thought maybe they were machined incorrectly or I had bad parts in here somewhere. Then I realized that with the original handbrake cable, it was actually too tight and it was pulling on this, which was causing that forward shoe to push forward. As soon as I pulled the handbrake off and the drum fit on fine. So I tried to adjust the original handbrake and you can see here, the threads are all gooed up and nasty. I can only get like one and a half turns on that nut. And then it was basically just twisting the entire assembly. So looks like I got undercoating or something stuck to it. So I ordered new brake cables, hand brake cables from Moss. Here's the new ones. You can see they have a squared end on them so you can put a wrench on if you have to adjust these again. But I'll show you what I did here. So I pulled it off. I tied a piece of string to it so I can feed the new one back through the grommets on the inside. Get this out of the way. But there's where it comes through the back of this, basically this bulkhead. There's the driver's side cable. And it attaches right in here to your handbrake. So in theory, I should be able to pull this back through and pull the new cable in because it's a tight fit up there. If that doesn't work, I I may just scream. So we'll see how this goes. All right, moment of truth here. I've got this mostly through. See if she works. Ah, it worked. Perfect. Now I don't have to scream. So we'll get this all tightened up. We'll do the other side, adjust the handbrake, and these brakes should be done, at least for the rears. Now we'll get working on the fronts. Just waiting on some parts to show up for that. So stand by. All right, so one more tip if you're ever doing a handbrake cable on these. I was trying to figure out how to get this square nut inside of here and twist it to adjust it. So this actual assembly, you just, it's, you can see the nut spinning in there. So just spin the whole thing by itself. I was trying to figure out how to put that nut on there and then attach this black piece, but that would have been a mission in futility, so. Quick tip there, I've got this adjusted. We'll get this block into its home over there. And then we should be good on this side. Okay, well there's a nice shiny new drum I painted up. When I got it, it was just uh, raw metal, but I painted it just for the hell of it to make it look good. Everything's all hooked back up. There's a new parking brake cable. I have everything adjusted so that these drums just drag a little bit when you turn the rotor. Um, yeah, other than that, I think everything's good. So I still gotta put the brake servo on. I'll show that to you guys. I got it rebuilt from brake parts and materials um, in Indiana. 
So I have that installed, got it powder coated. I'm still working on adjusting the clearance on the push rod. And then I'll get the new master cylinder. Let me show that to you guys too. So this is an original Durling, but I had them rebuild it. You can tell by the little G right there. So everything looks good. As soon as I can get that adjustment on the servo made, we'll be good to go. I'll get this reinstalled, get the lines hooked back up, and then start working on the front brakes. That'll be a separate video. Um, we'll get those Willwoods put on and then brakes should be done and we'll move on to the cooling system. So thanks for watching and see you later on the next one.